Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dawson video. Sorry about the cam. Um, cam is currently down, but I will be playing some more World of Warships. Please forgive me, you guys. I've been offline for a long while. Mainly due to school and I had to focus on classes and I'm been really busy lately I hope you guys understand it's busy schedule when you go to college is really frustrating let me tell you one thing you will be in class for less time than you do homework you do more homework and more out of your classes than you actually do inside your class keep that in mind now Last time you guys saw, I had the Langley. This is the USS Langley. It's a carrier. It's the first carrier you can lock in the American Naval. The printer's updating, sorry. Now, this, um, I don't even know how to, I think it's the Boeing. This is the USS Boeing. It's got good artillery, only three artillery guns, and quite a bit better planes. You can't upgrade the bombers or torpedo bombers. You can only upgrade the fighters with this. But um, as you guys can see, I now have two carriers, which I was ecstatic for. And so we're gonna go into one battle with the Boeing and see how it goes I'm sorry about the face cam again you guys I'm having issues getting the face cam back up properly after doing that video with my little sister I tried to fix it like two days ago and then I did something and I don't know what I did wrong I'm probably gonna have my brother Baron set it back up for me again if you don't know who he is, look up Pizza Party 9. I don't know if he still uses that channel, but um, that that was his old channel. And um, he does some live streams. His live streams are really interesting. Go show him some love. Go sub him. Go check him out. I don't even know if I can find his channel again but um we are playing as a carrier now this is what you look at when you first enter before the batch starts the difference between a carrier's viewpoint is that you're like this the whole match unless I hit Z If you hit B, you get this. Now what it does is if you you do that. Now I'm going to turn down the volume. I'm sorry if I don't have my volume up really high, you guys. It's more of, I don't want to wake my little sister up. Now I'm going to turn on autopilot to go there. Behind this little island. Now if I hide behind the island. Now I'm launching my fighters. He has four fighters. I have two, four, six fighters. 
If I wipe out his fighters, he can't do anything to harm me. But he does know if he doesn't do anything to protect his torpedo bombers. And he loses any torpedo bombers, he's basically screwed. You can even zoom in to see your planes. Like I can see these. Go and meet them. Those are zeros. I'm gonna win the first air battle. Or not. We're gonna go try and wipe out those guys. Actually, return them the ship. There's not much he can do really. He's lost most of his planes. And I have only have three left of my fighters. So if I get two more fighters back when they land, I'm basically donning myself on to succeed. And where are you? I'm gonna send torpedoes to no. Send torpedoes to you and bombers to you. See here they come in for their landing approach. One, two, three. Oh, the glitch. Now I have more planes. Switching the four. These are my bombers. I got a squad of two, four, six bombers. And six torpedo devastators. Plus two extra of each. Now if I upgraded my ship, it would make a big difference. Now they have him in sight. Unless I switch, nah. If I switch them to here, switch three. One of those is gonna hit. There we go. I gave him a sporting chance. Now those fighters, no, no. He only has that many fighters remaining. He only has a group of two. I have five. I have five fighters that can attack him. He knows if he goes after any of my planes, he's basically screwed. And trying to wipe out any planes is suicidal. But I think he's just trying to find me. Depending on who loses their plane for up, oh, we won this air battle.
gonna wipe out those last of his torpedo bomb squad. I don't give a care anymore. If I get rid of one of his squadrons, he's done. There's nothing else he can do. Yes, yes we have. This battleship is being my only, these battleships are being my only defense from people actually finding me. He's just sitting there, I think he's AFK. I don't even think the guy has anything to fight back with anymore. But if I send torpedo bombers and bombers out, I think I can relatively find him. If I sent my team two out, I think he'd show himself again. What? How am I detected? Yeah, there was something over there. Gonna turn the ship and go this way. And go full speed. Get back here. I'm gonna die, and it's because my team is a bunch of morons not protecting their CV. And I couldn't exactly take down my fire because I was out of fire extinguishing. This is why you protect your CV. I don't care what you are. You protect your CV. Your carrier is your biggest concern. As long as that carrier is alive, you're, and the other carrier is out of fighters, it's not gonna send anything towards you. Now since my fighters have nothing to go back to, they're just gonna die eventually. Cause they're either gonna run out of fuel and dish in the ocean, and all they can do is help you spot. That's all they're gonna help you with. This is why you protect your carriers. I don't care about you people. Your carrier's your number one priority. 
at least leave it with an actual person who's still playing the game and controlling a battleship or d leave it with one battleship, one destroyer, one cruiser. It's gonna live. But if they all just run out and try and kill as many people as they can, your carrier's gonna fall and you're gonna lose. The carrier's your biggest concern because it carries torpedo bombers and bombers. The advantage of having the torpedo bombers, he can help you knock out the freaking, well, battleships. And the bombers can cause fires to the battleships as well. I don't care who you are, protect your damn carrier. The carrier is going to be your life and soul of this damn fight. They're going to be looking for your carrier and they will not stop until they find it. Now see, when I died, they came out. That's because now he knows I can't control these damn planes. These planes can't turn and fight. Therefore, even if I hit control and click on them, there's nothing I can do. Not even if I wanted to. I can't even go back to the planes. They don't even know where their carrier is. We have two battleships that are almost dead. Two destroyers that are almost dead and one cruiser that is almost dead. That's because they didn't protect their carrier. Protect your damn carrier people. I don't care what you think. I don't care if you think, oh, the carrier can just hide away. Yes, we can hide away. But hiding away is only temporary. I was your carrier.
This is why you don't let your carrier die. I think I found him. He's either in J2 or 1. Because that battleship seems to be heading towards something. Told you. He was right there. We have, carriers have to hide. There's no way we could w ever win if we didn't. We're about to win though. Get closer to it. We did win. Oh damn. Hot diggity dog. I'm now lieutenant. But now I can also do this. I can either amp up planes, hangar capability, 28, 29, goes up to 32, Now with beefed up planes. Let's go. I don't care what you want. 
You will defend me. There are only two carriers on my night night. Me and some random other guy. I know I'm rinsing a lot. I'm acting a lot like no one's even watching me because, well, face cam not working. So technically, you guys don't even see me. People just don't get it that CVs or the carriers aren't really good at being defenseless. If you don't defend them, they're just going to die. Hands down, they're going to die. My planes are fully upgraded. Artillery is still 3. Maneuverability A8. Defense is 25. Survivability 43. Now, I know it's a little weird since I'm using a carrier. There's really nowhere for me to hide. Now I need to wait for my planes to be ready. By the time my planes are ready, their planes will be ready. <laughs> I seem to be gaining on him really quickly. two fighters I'm only going to be doing two rounds with this carrier to let you guys see what the big difference between the um well the Hosho well I don't have the Hosho remember mind. what the difference between the two separate carriers are but now that he has lost most of his There's nothing I can do. I only have two planes remaining of either side. But he's too close. So I gotta go knock him out. I don't care about these two planes as long as they can get rid of whatever's trying to find me. Now the cool thing is, if you press Z, you get to choose where your fighters will go. Like I could attack them, I could attack them. But I think I'm about to stumble upon someone. Oh, if I switch quarters, found you. Found both of you. What the hell? Why are you both here? I 
I don't know why they're built there, but they're built there. Who the hell brings a CV? Now, before they even have a chance, wait for him to move. Now send. Let's go for the Hosha. The Hosha is the biggest worry because it's a really big flat top. Now this is the cool part. I get to watch my bombers go in. Why are they going for the bombers? What the hell? Come on. Woo! One hit. I could turn them to fight. I'm not turning them to fight. Oh, I'm almost out of playing, so might as well join the fight. And just commit Sapuku. Out this one propeller. Propels is one ship. Amazes me. Oh, there's that gun. I'm gonna turn around and ram him. I'm pretty sure he realizes that I'm turning towards him by now. <laughs> I'm dead either way. I'm just speeding up the process. Wow, this is sinking faster. so cool to watch these things sometimes, but then, yet again, it sucks when the carrier dies. Now, that was the Boeing. I think that's how it's pronounced. Hopefully I'm not butchering the name. Now we're gonna do one round as Langley. So I can show you the difference between the Langley first let's collect container consumables no well, let's try my luck so, sometimes you can get lucky with these and get like a special thing like a ship anything sometimes you just don't get good luck you get bad here's the light Langley is like a flat top. You can tell 
the difference between a flat top and a non flat top. Right here is where its command center is, and it has plenty of planes for plenty of room for even adding more planes if they wanted to, but clearly they did not. So let's get into a game with the Langley. This is just to show you the difference between the carrier and any other ship because every other ship you're looking at your ship the whole time correct now i know for people um coming into the game they'll get used to using that and then they'll get a carrier which is something every person ever wants to play as in this game most of the time but the problem about playing as the carrier <sighs> people just don't get it it's not that easy I thought it was going to be easy. No, it's not. As you guys remember um, from the first time I um, played as a carrier was when my friend Zero was here and Zero let me play as a carrier on his account. Now the problem about the carrier was it was slow, it wasn't really fast, like it should be. Now I'm going to send my planes out to go hunt down this other carrier. Actually, send planes to A. I am recording late at night. Nope. Now, like I said, I can press Z and see my planes. They just glitch right through. <laughs> Now we're going to go hunt down this carrier. And they miss. I think I know where their carrier is. It's right there. While he's busy fighting me, I'll be busy sending all my planes towards him. And destroy him. Can't have him flying around. No intelligence collecting, please. And no torpedo bombers in my skies. Uh oh. When they just get off the carrier, strike. This whole show is about the, learn the full meaning of my pain. Now I'll switch the three. What's up, whole show? Take three torpedoes, please. Mm. 
he only dodged them because he had the plans to prevent me from hitting him. Now I'm staying far away to where he doesn't know where I am. I haven't even moved an inch. But that's eventually going to come back and bite me. I don't care if you destroyed a group. As long as I kill you. Hi Hosho, you should have been paying more attention to whether or not I was sending plans in to come find you. Keep them at bay. Keep my plans away. Far enough to where the Hosho won't hit them. But still send planes. Here's his flaw. Here's this. Ho I think this person's new with the Hosho because he's doing mistakes. I know I'm sounding like I know what I'm doing, but I'm actually I actually have no clue what I'm doing with carriers. But um, playing around with the carrier a bit, you learn how to use the carrier properly. Like, you don't move if you're a carrier. If you're a carrier, you want to find the weirdest place you could possibly hide and stay there. I'm trying to keep the Hosho in my sights. Oh, and now he's sending up his fighters. Bad move. Hi there. No. Fire set. Hi there. A torpedo will hit. Probably, no. Now uh, Wyoming has an ability. Wyoming's don't usually have anti-aircraft batteries. The Hosho is the first Japanese carrier you can pretty much get. It comes with two squadrons of torpedo bombers you can send out. One set of bombers. And one set of fighters. But it does have backup planes. Now, if I could fully integrate this and upgrade it completely, I would be carrying enough planes to re restock most of these setups. Like, this would get four back instead of two, and all that. But, um, as you guys can see, if I hit models, it costs 4200 to get that attachment. 
and amps my health up by 1,600. Hanger capability goes up by 4. A mounts goes up by 23, which is basically overkill. And survivability only goes up by 2. Our aircraft up by 2. A defense goes from 41 to hoo -hoo. maneuverability goes up by 4. Of course, it's still a slow carrier. Now, what you guys don't get is the higher you go in the teeter, the more advanced in carriers you'll get. Eventually, I'll wind up with the midway, which is really expensive. But right now, my only goal is the independence. This, the independence kind of reminds me of CV6. Or is that, is it this one? I think it's this one. This one reminds me of CV6. It look, it was a big annoying carrier in World War II. It pissed off um, the Japanese. They called it the Great Ghost because no matter how much you wanted to kill it, you couldn't kill it. It just kept coming back more and more and more and more and more. No matter how hard they tried to kill it. They're like, oh, we sunk the USS Enterprise. Nope, not even close. But yes, this is going to end it here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video of me playing as a carrier as the carriers the langley and the boeing the boeing is a little bit more faster than the langley and speed wise i honestly don't get how that tiny propeller even gives out that much torque but whatever i'm not gonna question it but that is going to end the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Regardless, please leave a like, leave a comment down below. And I hope to see you all in the next video. And remember, hugs all around. Bye-bye.